क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा Hello friends in the previous lecture we have discussed about the chemical preparation as well as the physical properties of nitric acid and now in this topic we are going to talk about the chemical reactions of nitric acid so now let us understand that what are the different chemical reactions of nitric acid so let us start with the first part So friends, now we are going to talk about the chemical reactions of nitric acid, and this is the topic that I am going to talk about. And the whole topic, that is the chemical reactions of nitric acid, is basically divided into three videos. So this is the first video that I am going to talk about. So starting with the first one, that is, what is the action of that is nitric acid on metals? The thing is, nitric acid is not very much reactive to the noble metals like gold or we could say like platinum. But yes, it is very much reactive to that of copper as well as zinc, or we could also say like as block element and some of the d block. elements so among that we are going to consider this copper as a metal so this copper whenever it is reacted with nitric acid and here we see the nitric acid that i am mentioning is a dilute nitric acid so therefore three moles of copper whenever it reacts with that is eight moles of hno3 obviously we have to provide a certain temperature then the resultant product that is what we could get is basically copper nitrate along with that of that is two moles of nitric oxide and that is four moles of h2 so this is the main product that is what we could get and that is nothing but copper nitrate so this was related to the reaction of copper with the dilute hno3 and now let me talk about the reaction of copper with concentrated hno3 so here it is the reaction where we are considering copper and we are reacting it with four moles of hno3 and that is also concentrated so in this case basically the product that is what we could get is again that is copper nitrate that is cuno3 twice along with that of the by product that is nothing but no2 which is known as nitrogen dioxide along with that of that is two moles of h2 so therefore this was the reaction of nitric acid on the copper but there are also metals which can be reacted with that is nitric acid so for that we have another example and the examples are reaction of nitric acid with zinc so here also that is whenever we consider zinc and suppose if we are reacting it with nitric acid so in this case i am considering this nitric acid as a dilute nitric acid so therefore the resultant product that is what we could get is nothing but four moles of zno3 twice so therefore this is known as zinc nitrate along with that of the by product that is known as n2o which is also known as nitrous oxide along with that of five moles of h2o so therefore this is the main product that is what we have got that is known as zinc nitrate So now let us talk about the another reaction where we can find that is the reaction of zinc with concentrated HNO3. So in this case, zinc whenever it is reacted with four moles of HNO3, it will give us a product, and the main product that is what we could get is zinc nitrate. So zinc nitrate along with that of that is two moles of NO2, which is also known as nitrogen dioxide, along with that of two moles of H2, it will be removed as a byproduct. So therefore, these are the two main products that is what we have got. So this results in a formation of zinc nitrate whenever we react. acted with dilute hno3 or we react with concentrated hno3 but it differs in the production of the by products so that's it so this was the reaction of the nitric acid on the active metals or we could say active metals like copper and zinc but it has been found that is the nitric acid is not very much reactive to the noble metals but when nitric acid is considered with the hcl so in this case it forms an aqua regia and now this aqua regia can react with the other metals so for that we have an example so in this example i'm going to talk about that is how basically aqua regia and aqua regia is formed because of the combination of three moles of hcl and one moles of that is hno3 so whenever three moles of hcl and one mole of hno3 they are mixed together so therefore they will form nocl along with that of two moles of h2 along with that of two moles of nescent that is chlorine so now this is a very unstable as well as very much reactive chlorine and that's the reason now whenever this aqua regia is reacted with gold that is au so therefore au it will react with three moles of nescen cl so as to give that is au cl3 and suppose if it is further reacted with hcl it will form a product that is hau cl4 which is known as oro chloric acid so this was the noble metal as suppose if we are considering another noble metal like platinum so whenever the platinum is reacted with aqua regia obviously in that case four moles of cl that is the nescen cl it will be reacted with platinum so as to produce ptcl4 that is platinum chloride 
and on further reaction with two moles of HCl, it will produce H2PTCl6, which is known as chloroplatinic acid. So therefore, this are the two products that is what we could obtain whenever the noble metals are reacted with aqua regia. So this is one of the reaction that is I have mentioned here. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood that is what is the reaction of nitric acid on metals. And that's it for now. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope I will see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.